We happen to have over here some sort of sunken ship. We suspect that uh, when the aliens visit our planet, this is the type of lone area they're looking for. We're going to get out there, we're going to discover clues, we're going to do an investigation and see if this area gets us one step closer to the treasure map area. The locals told us that they see weird lights out here at night. They believe this to be a landing pad for extraterrestrials. We're figuring at the moment if we can catch a fish, it was one of the patent Michael Bay artificial lures, if we can catch a fish around this alien landing platform, they might have radioactivity. If there's a lot of little fish around it, guys, look. Tons of little fish around it, swarming it. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Peterson, we did not find anything particularly useful at this juncture and at this location. It does not seem to be a legitimate alien landing platform. Uh, there was nothing uh, of a paranormal activity going on here that I could tell. We are now off to the next leg of the journey, deep into the Berry Islands hunting treasure. We're here in Chubb K, investigating clues to determine where Dr. Feldstein's treasure map will lead us. Sir, have you ever heard of Dr. Feldstein? He came down here in a research mission, treasure hunting. He believed that the aliens had put treasure maps in his brain to help him find some Spanish Armada. Have you ever heard of Dr. Feldstein or have you ever encountered any treasure hunters down here? I have encountered treasure hunters. The treasure hunters have to come to the Bahamas to get research for whatever it is that they want to do. Diving. If you were hunting treasure, where would you go, sir? Where would I go? I go in the most place that things disappear. The Bermuda Triangle, right where we are. Because you know why no one has the cojones to go there. Richard has been living most of his life here in the Bahamas. He happens to be a trusted employee here at Chubb K. So he wants the message to get out to the world. Uh, alien hunters, UFO astrologists, there is activity here. They should be prepared for some unexpected things that they didn't know existed. And to be honest with you, um, I've seen projectiles coming from out of, out of the atmosphere. I wouldn't say where it came from. I would just say it would be from out of the atmosphere and then it would disappear. We may have some aliens around us right now as we speak and don't even know. We will never know half of the stuff that we need to know. Well, I put it to you like this. Everything is on Earth has a purpose. Everything has a compound and a reason. The cone shell, if you look at a cone shell, it's not just an ordinary mollusk. The components of the shell, it must be made of some uh, materials that came from elsewhere. It has a lot of properties that are very good like when it comes to building things, build the way the universe is built, the spiral design. It's almost like um, uh, mathematics or it's sort of like connecting points. There is something mysterious about the spiral uh, circling inside the conch shell. Not only does it make a tasty ceviche when mixed with different citruses and even tomato and onion, but there's something about the shell uh, that is mesmerizing. You can take it to a third dimension and Richard confirmed it here today. One thing that needs to be noted, when we were driving along exploring, we came across some young kids, local kids, swimming in the ocean next to a conch restaurant with thousands of conch shells. Uh, and they're the ones that told us that if we stare into the spiral uniqueness of the conch shell, we'll see alien activity in our brains. At first, we thought maybe they were teasing, but they said, it's right under your nose. It's all in the conch shell. Look at the spiral. So we absorbed that information and uh, we have to determine there is something serious with what's going on with Feldstein's brain. His body's giving out, okay, but his mind is enhancing. And as our, our experts looked at it, the treasure map was getting more and more detailed. So we're fast forwarding now on our mission to discover the treasure, but hold on. The owner of the boat is slightly panicked because I told the captain that I would triple uh, his payment for the week if he pretended that there was an issue with the communications and that we were stranded in the Bahamas. Because as you know, with Dr. Feldstein's life on the line, we do not have the luxury of turning around and heading back to the mainland. Where Dr. Feldstein's treasure map is leading us is into the Andros where there's abandoned islands. 
So once we accomplish our mission, then we'll return the boat or use the treasure that we discovered to pay for the boat itself, which would be the ideal situation. I hate fancy people. Every time one of my fancy friends wants a masseuse, they're like, oh, I need a massage. I need a massage. I'm like, okay, you want a massage? Let me get you something good over here. They're like, no, it has to be a woman. I don't want a man touching my body. <laughs> How insecure in your sexuality do you have to be to say something like that, huh, Peterson? Every time I'm looking for a masseuse, they got to look like an NFL linebacker. Male or female, I don't care. 